Hello everyone. I just wanted to hop on here and do a haul video. Um, I've been a paper crafter, crafter since, so I'd say 2003 or four. And then through life events and stuff, I kind of, for the last 10 years, hadn't really, really been doing it, but I've had my craft hoard and paper. And so I've recently just gotten to a point in my life where I can start doing paper crafting again and I've started to enter some swaps and do some things and then my mom and I have a, a meeting every month what we call it crafty Sundays and I invite my sisters and some of my friends and so I kind of got my mom on the paper on the paper trail she's a she's a crafter but she likes to do other things and so she's kind of new to paper and you know I don't know how it is in your guys's area but here where I'm uh, located there's not a scrapbook store for me to go to. We used to have one at the local mall, the archiver shop, but that one closed in our area. So since then, I haven't had the opportunity to see paper in person. I'd have to go and get everything online. Um, and so my mom found one locally that's about, oh, 40 minutes away from my home, less than an hour. And she's like, I went to this place. It's really spectacular and you have to go. You're just gonna like, just gets crazy. So I went there today and I'm a simple stories kind of a person and um, this person who owns this shop, I just kind of went crazy today and this is my haul. I just went absolutely nuts and bought everything I liked. <laughs> so here goes. So to get a few things, oddballs out of the way because I kind of bought all collections is this is um, Magic Love with Frank Garcia. I have this paper collection, um, but I didn't have any of these puffy stickers yet, so I picked those up today. And then uh, this is just, I don't stencil too much, but I thought these little bitty hearts were just adorable to stencil and do something with, so I picked that up. And if you've watched any of my videos lately, you know that I've been doing a lot of Easter swapping, and I had Simple Stories collection, the Bunnies in Bloom, in just the six by eight paper or six by nine. And I did quite a few things with it. So I had a bunch of little pieces left over and then I had the ephemera packs. I didn't have this particular one, but I have some of them left over. And so I had said in the previous video, I thought about if I ever got a chance, I'd put this in my stash. So they had one today. So of course I bought it. This next one is their spring collection. Well, actually this one's Echo Park. I thought it was Simple Stories, but it's Echo Park. Um, a friend of mine who I also got into paper crafting, uh, she did swaps lately with the spring collection and I just loved what it looked like. So they had that today. So of course I had to pick that up and they, uh, had an ephemera pack with it that I picked up. And then they also had the coordinating solid paper pack. So, you know, why not get it all while you're there? <laughs> And then this collection is Simple Stories, and it's the Simple Vintage Indigo Garden. I guess I should turn them over because they do show all the stickers and things in there. I just love the colors in all of their items. I haven't opened any of these to look at the papers yet, except those first two. I've already seen them out of the pack, but this one I haven't done so yet. And they had two different ephemera packs that I picked up to go with them. And then I saw this one. This one is, is Let's Get Crafty. I mean, it's pink. It has crafting stickers on the back. And let's just talk about these little ink squares, like Tim Holtz ink. I think that's what got me right there. Oh, look, we have um, tape dispenser and the big tape dispenser. And I just, the color scheme, all of it. And of course they had two ephemera packs that I had to get. And in this collection they had uh, the decorative brads. Had to get those. And let's get my, let's get my other stack over here. This is also a simple story. So this one is called Full Bloom. I just was a sucker today for all the simple story items. The bees, the turquoise, the pink, the bicycle, this little smiley face sun. I mean, come on. And then for that collection, I got both of the ephemera packs, the, the brads, 
And they had the puffy stickers in this one. So you know I had to get those too. And this one I did, a few of them I did pick up the foam stickers if I thought they were cute or if they had them. So I got the foam stickers in this one too. This next one is called Summer Lovin'. Again, just obsessed. I mean, the colors. I think it was the colors is why I bought all of these today. <laughs> and I got the foam stickers in this one. And I got one of the ephemera packs and the brads. I think this one's going to be cute if any of you guys do those swaps that you have the boxes from the Dollar Tree. I thought the blue box would look cute with this one on it. So hopefully somebody has a summer swap that I get to use this paper for. <laughs> and this one was marked new at her shop. I'm sorry, I live by a train track, so that's a train going by if you're hearing that. I mean, let's just look at this collection. I'm not sure how new it is because I've been out of the game for a bit. But these colors. I mean, let's just look at this. mixer mm. all of it I'll just take all of it and I did <laughs> so I got the ephemera packs and the brads alrighty the next ones I thought I had oh they're over here I got some she had Echo Park and uh, Cartabella so this collection here is called farmhouse summer I got, went ahead and picked up the chipboard in these and the enamel brads and the solid paper pack, but she didn't have the um, printed paper pack. So, and I forgot to ask her about it because, you know, I spent two hours in this store, so I was a little tired when I left. <laughs> so I do need to look online and try to get the paper pack that goes with these because this, again, these colors, oh, love it. This one here is also Echo Park. And I think Cartabella and Echo Park, one owns the other, but I'm not sure. Like I said, I've been out of the game for a bit. And the pastels, I think I'm a pastel junkie lately. Like, uh, oh, I'm sorry, this is called New Day. This one was hanging by the door and I just, on my way out, I was like, I really hope I bought that one. And I got home and I was like, yep, thank goodness. Cause look at that goodness. Mm. Can't wait to play with that one. And this one here is called Gather at Home from Cartabella. It's got black, it's got pink, it's got greeny turquoise, buffalo plaid. I mean, oh, look at that chair. I mean, just look at this little couch. Mm. Let's look at this. Cute. That I ended up getting ephemera packs and the brads. And that's it for those. And recently I discovered Craft Consortium and I purchased uh, Where's the Bees? So I was kinda I'm kinda new to Craft Consortium and it's this black background. I really like black background things. And so this one caught my eye and the only thing they had to go with it were the uh, enamel dots. I don't know if my camera will pick that up, but the like sheeny goodness of iridescent. Mm. I have to look online to see what else they make to go with this collection because I need it, of course. This one's not um, stuck down, so let's do a quick flip through. Just love all the black backgrounds on this one. Oh, there's some cute little bees. That looks like, what about the bees? Or I can't remember the exact name of the other one. These purples. Got to find something to do with those purples. Ugh, beautiful. Again, Craft Consortium. Their paper quality is awesome too. Let's see if you can hear this. Mm, love it. Then I am a Graphic 45 person also. And because this was a scrapbook shop, she had this, I, well I'd seen this collection when I walked in the door too. And it had a black background. You can't find black that often. So I picked this up. 
And they also had the coordinating paper, which I can't flip through too much there because it's stuck down still. So I see that she had both of these. Well, then she had it in a set where you got the whole paper pack and then there's two uh, layers of the stickers in there. And she had the chipboard stickers. And then there's some flowers in here from Little Birdie. But I, and like I said, I'm new to the shop. I think she did classes on these because she had all in the bag with instructions to make this item here. I don't know how you guys are, but Anytime they provide the cut, cutting instructions and all the paper and what the project's gonna be at the end, I'm a sucker for that. I could put that together in a day and just love every minute of it. So I had to get that and these are the Graphic 45. This was the box set that came with it and this little one was inside of here. So that was a set. Sticker on both sides it looks like. So all this came together, well, I should say, all of this came together in a kit with instructions so you could just make those boxes. And of course I picked that up just cause it coordinated. And she had a whole, and he, she had anything from Graphic 45 that you wanted also. And she had this and it was one of the Graphic 45 boxes that you distress and do whatever you want to. And it has some tags in there. Thought this would be super cute with something with a magnetic closure to make it stay closed. I'm not sure, you know, I just had to buy it. Looks like it's called an, oh, it's ATC book box. So that might be a cool place to start collecting my, when I get more ATC cards to put in there. And then she had this at the register and this was new to me. Maybe it's been around for a minute, but I use um, Tonics glue and it gets clogged really easy. And I found out the other day, if I leave it tipped upside down, it doesn't clog as bad. And so she had these at the register so you can set your bottle in them and it holds them upside down. So I thought I'd give that a try. But um, anyway, thanks you guys. I, sh I should have laid all this out so it made a big array of everything. But thanks for stopping by and uh, looking at all my uh, my goods today. You know, I didn't want to see my total, but as we know, as paper crafters, we know it doesn't matter. We want what we want, right? All right, you guys have a good evening. Bye bye.